Heads up, we make adult reviews for adult gamers. We're going to play some Star Wars Risk. We reviewed this game ages ago, but... I don't know, we've been going through some of our older collection, like we've got a shit ton of games now and decided to pull out some of the older ones and replay them, and this one has always been a bit of a soft spot for us. I actually it, genuinely enjoy the shit out of this game. It's really good. If you're like, familiar, <laughs> yeah, some of you may or may have not have played a game called Star Wars King, I think it's called King's Gambit, and this is very similar but kind of boiled down to the bare essentials as it were it takes out like king's gamut had this whole like stand and all sorts of three level multi-dimensional 5d chess shit going on but uh yeah so i have no basis for comparison <laughs> but i really like this one yeah this one's pretty cool like uh much shorter than a game of risk offers let me shut my phone up offers the same strategic sort of choices in a sense stuff like that but uh it's pretty cool and if you're into star wars it's the shit this game basically plays out in a sense return of the jedi so you shall see how it goes and yeah if you want to know our full thoughts on it like besides the fact that we like it go check out our star wars risk review if you're watching this on youtube i'll put a link up in the corner all right, so the Rebels are going to go first. We start by drawing six cards apiece. So if you're not familiar with this game, the basic idea is that there are three separate battles, well, yeah, three separate battles going on at once. We have over here the Battle of Endor, where basically I as the Rebel fleet, she's going to be the Empire, obviously, and trying to take out the uh, deflector shield generator around the Death Star. This is the central battleground. This is where we'll be fighting in space. My overall goal is to destroy the Death Star. To do so, I need to take out, I need to win this side first. We also have the battle on the, like the Emperor's Chambers or whatever it was called. You've got Darth Vader versus Luke. Nobody has to win that battle, but whoever does will get basically a lot of bonuses if they do so. So it's kind of the idea of splitting your battles between three different battlefields, deciding what's best to go for, stuff like that. Rachel's goal as the Empire is literally to just eliminate me. I'm on this Rebel side of the board scum. right now. Yeah, exactly. Just straight up eliminate all my forces. So, you know, that's the basic idea of the game. We're just going to go ahead and hop into it. So we start each turn by drawing three cards. No, 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 pardon me. We're going to lay down three cards from our hand. Each card has specific orders, like, for instance, I can make an attack over here, or I can move one specific faction of ships, or, you know, get into the battle between Darth and Luke. We're going to choose three order cards and put them face down in front of us. Cool? Yeah. It'll all make sense in a minute. It'll if make sense. We haven't played this before. Yeah, yeah exactly. All right, that's going to be my first one. You've already got yours picked. What in the hell? I'm sitting here blabbing my mouth off and you're going to kick some ass. <laughs> the Empire knows what it's doing. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Hold on a second. You may not like it, but it's got a plan. Give me just a second. There's a symbol on here that I didn't realize. It has been a while since yeah, we played. We played it's... a little bit last night as a refresher, yeah, but... Yeah, barely. It's a surprisingly complex game. Oh, like, you have to balance everything just right to do well. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of people say the Empire has a natural advantage in this game. I don't think that's true, you know, once you learn it. But for beginner players, the Empire can do a little better. Their game is a little easier. So yeah. we'll see how it goes. I, mean, I have kicked ass as a rebel before. Yeah, you have. So, but it does, you have to, you got to think about everything right. You're absolutely right. Okay. All right, so it's the, nuanced. Nuanced, yes, indeed. So the rebel player always goes first. We're going to reveal an order at a time. So I don't know if you're going to be able to get yours to show up on stream because of where that is, but I'll at least show mine. So my first order, I get to choose one of the three things on this card, if you can see it. I'm going to choose the bottom, which is the battle for Endor. So what I do in Just the battle for Endor, you. yeah, if, if that works for you. Yeah, your show up there. Yeah, cool. So, I'm going to roll 5d6, and I've got specific numbers I need to beat on this. These are all twos. Basically, for each two or higher that I roll, I get to advance a spot. It gets tougher as it goes on. Rachel also has the availability of putting Stormtrooper tokens down to make it more difficult on this. 
that is going to be four successes. One, two, three, four. I'm coming with my stupid little teddy bear Ewoks. All right, now you get an order. Your first one. So what you got? I do. <laughs> I'm going indoor. All right, so you get to put down, what is it? Three, three. or four? I'm nearly positive it's three. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's three. Like I said, bear with us. We just... It's been a minute since we played this game. Where the hell is the clothes? There is a little fly. There is a little fly that's been buzzing around. It's like a little gnat. Right. Yeah, a little tiny gnat. Yes, it is three. He's so right. what she did is basically make my next rolls one more difficult. So, for my... <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm annoying. Yes, you are. For my next trick, I'm actually going to attack Battle of Endor again. So I need to hit threes on these to clear them first. That's going to be one, two, three, four. So I clear those, and that goes there. And you get those back. And it is your turn. All right. I'm actually going to try and lightning. Force lightning? Yep. So that just straight up does damage to Luke, is what it does. No, the lightning goes after those. No, that's the Oh, Death no, Star. no, you're right. It is yeah. Luke. Yeah, yeah. I'm so sorry. The Death Star is the one that lets you destroy the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's going to do just two damage. Yeah. Damage. I'll let you change it into TIE Fighter. No, that's fine. Go ahead. You're cool. All right. Ow. I made my choices. But I wanted a bullseye Screw whopper. Screw you, Luke. Quit whining. Lying for a couple of days. All right. And my final order this turn is going to be Luke's going to swing back at your ass. So here's how that works. I get to roll 4d6. I'm attempt Luke is attempting to attack Darth Vader. I roll 4d6. Uh, Vader gets hit on a four plus. That's gonna be three damage. So oh, I see it. Oh, it actually starts at the top. Yeah. yeah. One, two. Okay, so I'm on eleven. Cool. Let me in ten or nine. Uh, you got hit three times, so you start on 12, 11, 10, 9. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, that's it. And so those orders oh, go into our discard. Oh, yeah, you've got your last got one. one. I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. What you doing? So that one, I'm going to do TIE Fighters. Okay. So they can move to one adjacent location, and then you may attack with them if you so choose. I'm going to attack. Okay. Because you have, I hope this is showing up on stream. She's got four TIE Fighters in this region. Ships can always attack an adjacent region. They don't move into a region. So you can attack here. Are you attacking the Millennium Falcon? Or are you attacking the X-Fighter? The X-Wings? X-Wings. Okay, cool. So what do you need to hit? You've got the cheat sheet. For X-Wings, three, three plus. plus. So roll 46, and every three plus destroys an X-Wing. Oh, one. One? All right. Oh, that one. was terrible. My poor little X-Wing. Bye. Okay, so now we draw another three cards to fill back up to six and rinse and repeat. That's the basic idea. Let our dog whining. Yeah, that was a sad can, little noise. You can let her in here if you want. As long as she, I just, we have a Rottweiler, and when she chews a bone, it sounds like a chipper shredder going through glass. So, like, yeah. I didn't want to annoy y'all with that sound, but if she's done chewing the bone, she's welcome. To go <laughs> she, yeah, poor little doggy, she pals. She just tears them up like it's nothing. It's kind of terrifying, actually. We have to pick bone shards out of our carpet. <laughs> You look like an elephant graveyard. I think hyenas are going to come up and start singing. <laughs> but she's so cute when she does it. All right, hold on, Booper. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'll let her in. All right, Pops, you want to come in? Come on. Hey, get big girl. Can you chill out? Can you sit down for me? <laughs> That's a good girl. All right, you ready? Yeah. Cool. What do you know? I'm going battle. And we were all shocked. Yeah, for real. I gotta get it done, man. He has to get yeah. to the end of here to take down the shields before he can destroy the Death Star. Correct. Which wins him the game. Yeah. 
So he has to do this. All right, so I got a two here. That will match that one. The rest are three. So now it starts getting harder. They're three plus, but the rest of my dice are three plus. So I get to move forward five spaces. I was there, so one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, no one likes you. Capshot! You're dirty and you smell bad. You get to see the scene where fucking uh, Han Solo grabs Leia's boob. Have you ever noticed that? There's a scene. Okay, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I nerded out on it when I was a kid. I was born the year... Well, I won't say that anyways. But anyways, <laughs> I don't want you fuckers knowing how old I am. I'm very old. But there is a scene where Harrison Ford straight up grabs Carrie Fisher's boot. And like, I mean, unabashedly. Like, because she like falls down or whatever. Uh -huh. You dirty old man. Yeah, but if anyone's going to do it, at least Harrison Ford. <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> All right, show me your orders, Imperial Scum. <laughs> I'm going to endure. All right, dog. You. Boop, hold on. And I will. Boop, I do. Being loud, Popper. You're going to be quiet. You got to lay down. Okay? Lay down. Yeah. All right, so roll your dice. Oh, no, you just put Storm yeah. Trooper. Yep. Yeah. Cool. All right. Excellent. All right. All right. Next up, well, I'm going for it again. So I gotta hit four pluses here, then it goes back to three. But I have to clear the fours first. That's gonna clear, okay, so I do get through the three you just put down. I got three successes. Stormtroopers are expendable, man. And useless, apparently. Yeah. All right. Oh, I'm that good. must not be the Don't droids worry, I'm older. looking for. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Soshin is an old man, too. Welcome to the stream, by the way. Hey. Thanks for tuning in. We appreciate it. All right, what's your second order? All right, I'm going... Executor. Yep. So that's kind of a special ship you can scoot around. You're going to... It can also generate TIE I'm going to use it to get me some ships. Yeah, it spawns TIE fighters. Four new ones in its same area, which is pretty insane. There we go. All right. For my final one... You know what? Screw it. I'm going to go for Luke again. All right. 46. I need to hit a four. Well, that's one, two, three. So Darth Vader loses three life. So the basic idea is I talked about it earlier that you would get bonuses for defeating Darth Vader and other things you do. That gets you bonus orders. You get to draw additional cards off the top of your deck and put them under your current orders. So you get to go more times than the other player for that round. All right, cool. <clears throat> All right. Death this Star? time, I'm going to not mess up my symbols. You got it. And try and Death Star you. All right, cool. So, as you may notice down here, I have basically forces in reserve that I could move off there. The Death Star lets her basically shoot at one of those and try to destroy it outright. I'm going to have to move her out of here. You need to hit a 5 or 6. You roll 2d6. Five. Oh, okay. Which one do you want to destroy? Blue. My B-Wings. All right. Yep. I'm sorry, Pop. Hold on. I'm going to see if I can get her to do this. All right. I don't have any treats, so bribins are slim. Loop on you. Will you come here? Oh, now you lay down? Let's try <laughs> and get her to jump up in my lap uh, so she so can see. Her off. Yeah. yeah. Come here. Loop on you. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hey. Come here. Come here. Will you come up? <gasps> Sometimes it takes food to bribe her. It's fine. Come on, let's play the game. Alright. I'm gonna set her outside for a little bit. She's just been a little too noisy. But who doesn't like pop Come here. <laughs> she knows too. Oh. She wants to sit on the table. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Quit being a troll, dog. Good. Draw your orders. one I'm gonna do indoor 
pluses. It gets harder at the end. Towards the end, I have to hit five pluses. All right. One, two, three successes. One, two, three. All right, go ahead and do your first order. Okay. I too am going indoor. Come on, sweet. I don't get it during my live stream. She just sits under my desk and chills. All right, cool. What you doing? I put, put some three down. Troopers mm -hmm. down. All right, cool. Next up, I'm going to attack with some X-Wings, and I'm going to use the X-Wings right here to shoot back at those dudes. So, one, two, three, four. And what do I need to hit for an X? Three plus. For a TIE Fighter? Mm -hmm. Three plus? Cool. That's going to take two of them out. All right, your next order, my dear. I'm actually going to attack Luke. All right, so roll 46 and I get hit on a four. Four plus. That's Whoa. gonna be four successes. One, two, three, four. Take that. Oh shit. All bastard. right. For my final move, I'm gonna go ahead and do indoor again. That's what you get for kissing your sister. <laughs> Where is our other die? Disgusting. Disgusting. Right there. Cool. Thanks. Okay, that was not a good roll. So I need. I only cleared two. Told you it was getting harder. All right. And your final dun, order. Dun, 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 dun. What you going with? <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna I'm gonna move them mm -hmm. into there. Okay. And attack. Okay, now you only ever get a maximum of five dice to attack with. That's fine. But they'll still be there if I start taking them out. Mm -hmm. So you gotta hit three pluses. Three. One. Three of them? And I got a full house. Yes you do. Does did. that matter? Uh Yahtzee. Yay. Okay, so go on to another round. Is it wrong? Played so many games. I don't even. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> Which but one? God, is I love Yahtzee. Uh, Yahtzee is good, man. I don't know. People why. hate on it, but like, I, I think it's. I, that's game. why I like uh, yeah. King, King of Tokyo. Tokyo. Yeah. yeah. Least, have I you get ever it, played it Bang the more. Dice Game? No. By chance, we should play that. As some Darth, I'm using yours. <laughs> The sound effects are for once appropriate. I am your father. <laughs> Who's your daddy? You ready? Yeah. All right. I'm going to go ahead for Endor with my first one. Because, you know, the fleet of overgrown teddy bears could take out the most destructive and powerful force. Better than Jar Jar. <laughs> I will give you that. I will totally give you that. That was a shit roll. They're only dumb, but they're one. cute, and they're not annoying. Is that is true? Yeah, I only got one there. I took out the lone red shirt stormtrooper. Oh, I'm just I'm bending genres. All right. Oh God! It's gonna implode. <laughs> Maybe he keeps singing Davy Crockett, King of the Final Frontier. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't. She keeps getting it in my head, and I'm like, but that's not right. That's not what it means. <laughs> so hey, I bro. keep. Picturing like the Enterprise captain wearing a coonskin hat. <laughs> oh, I think I got it back in my own head. Yep. All right, what you got? Indoor. All right, bring him. Okay, cool. Hopefully, our bit rate. We were having some bit rate problems tonight. Like I normally stream at about five k upload, but. I guess maybe our city, we have municipal internet, maybe they're capping it or something. But hopefully it looks okay on y'all's screen. I guess we'll have to see on the video. It looks okay on my phone, but yeah. Who knows what that looks like on a bigger screen. Order two is going to be, I am actually gonna move these Y wings and I am going to move them right here. And I am good. Indoor. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have let you build it up. I'm gonna 
I bet sixes on those last ones. All right. Well, you know what? Screw it. Luke's going to take a chop at old daddy. So, 46, four plus. Oh, that's two. All right. He's getting close. Okay. One thing that I think I forgot to explain last night. You notice the last three spots of Darth Vader's thing are those little mm -hmm. red ones, right? So I have an order in my deck that allows me to try to churn Darth Vader. And what that does is, this is a chance for Luke Skywalker to redeem Darth Vader and kill the Emperor. This order can only be given if Darth Vader's hit token is on a red highlighted spot. Three, two, or one hit points remaining. When this order is played, both Darth Vader and the Emperor are destroyed. The Rebel player claims five bonus order cards and immediately adds them to the bottom of the Rebel order pile. Cool? Cool. Cool. It, uh, your final order. Hmm. Got some choices, huh? Well, well, well. I got my drink. I think I am going to go Darth. Yeah, no shit. I'm going to swing back. All right. Damn kids. <laughs> Get off my lawn. Get off my imperial lawn. <laughs> That's going to be two. two. So I am at five life remaining on me. It's not as good as I was hoping for. No, it was not. Okay. Cool. D. Crockett. King of the Wild Frontier. <laughs> no, you sang it right that time. You said Wild Frontier. Did I? No. I didn't mean to do it right. No. I don't know. I don't know what I did. I don't know what I do. I wasn't paying that much attention to me. We need to get our hands on Star Wars Imperial Assault pretty soon. There are too many board games to play. And not enough time. <laughs> or green powder. <laughs> it just, yeah, packed it up with Morton's rock shot. Like, get off my fucking lawn! <laughs> I can't wait. We're putting up a fence. Yeah. And I've always wanted to have a fence. And then if kids' toys came into our yard, I would nail them to the fence. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I'm married. <laughs> Although, I'm going to have to get a really big nail for that basketball. That is true. Hmm. Oh, well. So should I don't know how much you know about Star Wars. Have you ever seen a parody called Troops by any chance? It was released in like the late 90s. They used to play it at Dragon Con on the TV there. It's basically cops, like the show, you know, Bad Boys, Bad Boys, Cops, but it's Stormtroopers. It is fucking hilarious. I think it's on YouTube. I recommend everybody go check it out. It's a bit of an oldie, but like it's it's still very hilarious. Very hilarious. Like uh, they show up to... Baru and Owen's house and it's basically like they're having a domestic and shit. I have and, seen yeah, that. I think that I was hilarious. Yeah, I, think I showed it to you one time. Highly recommend it. Yeah. Alright. Heard of it back then but never saw it? Yeah, definitely. It's on YouTube. Just look on YouTube for troops. It's hilarious. Alright. Go Invader. Oh my god, I didn't want to kill him. Okay, so I do three oh. games. No, he's on one. So three, two, one. All right, cool. Blast off. Blast off. All right, I'm good. Whew. One hit. Damn it. All right. I am going in. A five here, five, 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 six, six. Crap, that's nothing. All right, your Good. turn. Good. <laughs> Good. What you got next? Vader. All right. Please, God, don't kill me. That's what, three? three? Three, two, one. All right, you good? Yes. No, you're not, I'm turning Vader. 
<laughs> I have seen the light. <laughs> Luke lived with one life to turn Vader. It's automatic. As Shit. I understand it. Lemo yeah, when this order is played, both Darth Vader and the Emperor are destroyed. The Rebel player claims five bonus order cards and immediately adds them to the bottom of the Rebel order pile. So, I get to add five new orders. Do you have time to talk about our Savior? <laughs> our Lord and Savior, Wrinkle Little Prune Emperor. He changed my life. All right. It is your final order. Go ahead. And then I'm going to get five in a row. Although I'm probably going to screw the page on half of them. I'm going to... Death Star. Death Star. 2d6. Hit a four up. Please. Ooh. Two. two. So is it you get to destroy two or... Where'd it go? Yeah, double check me. As long as one, you destroy one. I want to take one, the Y wings. The X -wings. Or the, the yeah. X wings. Yeah, the, the X wings. Got it. Sure thing. Oh, I think technically it's supposed to flip over, but whatever. whatever. Who cares? All right. So now I All get right, to well, run the gamut on you because I get five orders in a row. I'm just going to sit here and take it like a bitch. Yep. That's pretty much <laughs> what's going to happen. Okay. Well, number one is only going to... I am going to move these Y wings up into this region. Yeah. I'll set them over here so y'all can see them. Hopefully you can see them. That's my discard pile. I'll turn it sideways so I don't forget. Okay. So that was my first order. I moved these Y wings out of this region into here. Cool. Yeah. They don't really fit. Next up, I'm going to go for indoor again. Come on, fives and sixes. Oh, that's more like it. There's a couple, so that's going to be three successes. One, two, three. All right, next order. Now, see, the bonus orders are random, so you kind of have to choose what they are when they come up. You make your choice on them, but you never know. You don't get to plan it out. I was hoping for indoor, so there's another one. All right, so the six is gonna clear. Yeah, I get Just one six, one. so one cleared. Okay. Next order, indoor again. Stinking rats. <sighs> those are sixes. None of those clear. Final order. Well, I can't attack over there anymore, so I guess I'm going to have to move some B-wings. Yeah, I'm just going to move these B-wings here. So you may ask yourself, how do you get bonus orders? Well, first off, if you clear a region, like if she were to destroy all my ships in a particular region, she'd get a bonus order. Uh, obviously this fight over here, however, that's been excluded from you. Also, if you, if you destroy the Millennium Falcon, which is down here, or I destroy the Executor, then you get some bonus cards. And I think that's it. I don't think I get any bonuses for finishing that fight. I'll double check if I uh, manage to do it. All right, so let's draw back up. I am jealous of everybody on the stream. We can't actually hear the music y'all are hearing right now. I wanted to put someone in the background, but unfortunately, because of our conference mics we're using now, we can't listen to it without it echoing. Instead, I have to listen to my fiance sing horribly Davey mangled. Davy Crockett, <laughs> king of the final frontier. Horribly mangled folk song. <laughs> Hey, at least we're not at work. Where's my fucking headphones? <laughs> um, there's no escape. There's no escape. All right. That Trust me, it could be worse. It could be. I know. All right. First order from the Rebels. This turn is going to be, what do you know, indoor. I got to do it, man. Like, it's got to happen. You're going to get rabies. I got them. it. I got those two. So I'm right there. Does that mean it destroys? I don't, I think if I get to the last spot, it means it's clear. Give me just a second. 
like I said, guys, it's been just a minute. As I understand it, I'm on the last spot. I mean, there's no more rolls to make, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I beat every number. All right, cool. Your order, my dear. So, now that the Death Shield's shield generator is out of commission, I can attempt to attack the Death Star. And I just have to do it with any ships adjacent to it and hit a six. If that happens, I win the game. Oh, so did. Bring it in. All right, I'm gonna move them there okay. and attack them. So, and Y wings. Four plus. Yeah, cool. And you get four dice. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. I gotta hit a six. Keep that in mind. Two. Oh, hey, that's half my forces there. Ah, I should have gone the other way. Damn. All right. Ah. My next order is going to be the Y wings that are there. So I'm gonna roll two d six. I'm trying to hit a six. Oh, poor one. We'll let you in in a minute. Oh. oh, no! The Death Star is destroyed. That's the danger of the Empire. That is. It's cocky. Yeah. Like I said, it's been a minute since we played this. So, like, we both had to kind of refresh strategy and stuff. But, uh, yeah, please do go check out our review if you're interested in the game at all. Like, I think you can get this game for probably... It's been a minute since I checked the price, but I imagine it's probably, like, 15 bucks now. I've even it's seen it at, like, Walmart. Seriously, it's really easy, yeah. quick little game. Offers a little bit of tactical strategy. I really do like the division of where you need to spend your resources. Um, like I said, if you played King's Gambit, this is a simplified version of it. But uh, all in all, a pretty damn good game, especially for the price. I really enjoy it. Any thoughts from you? Yeah, thanks for hanging out with us, guys. Okay, that was cool. awesome. Yeah, thanks thanks for tuning into the uh, impromptu live stream. I hope all of you have an excellent night. The VOD will be up on youtube tomorrow we have to wait 24 hours due to twitch contract and all that but anyways everybody have a great night if you enjoyed our content please do go check out twobatsgaming.com or patreon.com backslash twobatsgaming you can donate money to us we're currently streaming some more trying to work up our stream so we can become twitch partners and you can subscribe with your sweet sweet amazon prime dollars <laughs> but in the meantime yeah hope you all have a good night shoshin thanks man you have a great night y'all take it easy